Hey, everybody. It's Oliver. Man, I've been thinking about this game for five days straight because I haven't played it for five days. It's been a sad five days. Well, not really, but I've just had so much work to do. And man, the last time I played, so much crazy shit happened. I honestly forgot some of it. Uh, <laughs> at least the details of it. I went to the uh, core of the Ash Twin project. I saw a black hole in the center and I got sent back in time. I, I kind of just want to resume expedition right now and figure out where the hell I am. Oh yeah, right. I always start here. But um, figure out what I'm going to do now. I still have to go to the Nomai ship in uh, in the tree planet. Dark Bramble. Uh, because there is something about... I took a picture with my phone about the coordinates to the eye of the universe. And I am like 100% convinced now that the... Because I was looking at the recording of that episode. I'm 100% convinced I have to type in the three coordinates to the eye of the universe. I'm I ju I'm just not sure what that's going to do, really. Maybe just give me more lore. Uh, so I'm going to do that, I think, at some point. That's one thing. Another thing that I want to do is, also just at some point, I just I kind of just want to go a little bit everywhere, see if I've missed something. Um, because honestly, I have, I have FOMO right now. I have a big fear of missing out in this game because it seems like there are so many things <laughs> that are easy to miss, if you know what I mean. Um, and I'm kind of afraid that uh, I'm missing something cool. You know, like some episodes ago, I apparently had an ending of the game. Someone in the spoilers told me that. What I did in the, in the lab with the black hole was apparently an ending in this game. I thought it was a joke because the music was all weird and funny. I found a, I, I, I thought I found it like a small Easter egg or something, but apparently that was the end of the game. <laughs> and that's why I had to click uh, load previous save. Um, but here's the thing. I've also been spoiled in the comments about the DLC a little bit. Two things. I've been spoiled that it's scary. The DLC is scary, but I guess the game also spoils that, right? Because when you load up the game, it does tell you that you can uh, disable uh, the scary parts of the game or something. So that's maybe not the biggest spoiler. But someone also spoiled for me that the thing I found, uh, the shadow in front of the sun, the, the UFO I found, basically, was the DLC. So I had an inkling, I had a feeling that it was going to be the DLC because... I had nothing in my computer to link to that. Uh, or at least that gave me any hint at all that that was a thing. I do know that the outpost on this planet with the radio station is connected to the DLC as well. And I, I'm guessing that outpost is going to tell me how to find that thing that I found by accident in space. <laughs> which is kind of insane um, in hindsight now that I found that. Uh, I really do wish I didn't lose it. Or had, or had lost it, because it seems it wasn't uh, random that it disappeared. I, I, I just moved away from it. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I mean, at least from the recording, that's what it looks like to me. Uh, I'm not actually sure. Uh, I guess I'll find out soon enough. And soon enough could be today, I guess. Um, in fact, it could be right now. Who knows? Let me think. Um, yeah. Okay. Speaking of the DLC, I am the kind of person who likes to do all the things in a game before they finish it, which is a curse and a blessing, I guess. Uh, when I played The Witcher 3, I actually never finished that game because I wanted to do all of it. I wanted to explore every side quest, all the little question marks on the map, and it just kind of burnt me out. I, meant, I never managed to finish the game because of that. And I do that to so many games. But in this game, it's not like that. I'm not burned out at all. In fact, I, I, I couldn't wait to get back to this game. And I think I may do the DLC before I uh, sort of trigger the ending. 
if that's the right way to say this. Um, I, I'm just not sure how that's going to come together yet. I have a feeling that the ending is going to be me deciding whether or not I want to break the loop or just live in, just like the Matrix, you know, uh, ignorance is bliss. Just keep living in the loop forever. You'll be alive, but what kind of an existence is that, you know? Or I turn off the Ash Twin project and end the loop, and that's going to be credits. So uh, I think... But then again, it would be cool to just try. I guess I could go back and load a save. I've been talking for six minutes straight right now. It's just been so long since I've played this game now, and it's kind of weird holding the controller again, moving around this game. So I'm just kind of getting used to all this. Buckle up. Um... Right. Yeah, I'm, go I'm gonna fucking do the DLC. Guys, it's DLC time. I feel it in my tummy. Um, let's do it. So I need to go to the radio station. Uh, <laughs> where is it? Fuck, I need to log on to this. Yeah, way better, way better. Wait a minute, what is this place? Have I been here? Wait a minute, I, I know I get distracted, okay? I, I get that. But... Let me just quick... I don't think I've been here, wow. See, this... It's why I wanted to go to all the places once more and just explore. I don't think I've been here. Wait, is this the part of the village? Church research notes. Property of church. I've detected a strange signal coming from somewhere within the grove in this crater. It's very similar to the signal emitted by the quantum moon, so it stands to reason the two signals are probably related. We don't know much about the quantum moon, seeing as no one's ever been able to land on it. But hopefully studying the signal in the grove will reveal more about it. Honestly, I don't remember if I've been here. If I read that. I didn't get a ship log updated. Notification just now, so... Maybe I was here? Let me just quickly explore this place. What is this? Wait a minute, I haven't been here at all. Oh wait, I have been here. Yeah. The ancient glade is always dark, the quiet shade... I remember that. Did I ever solve this? I'm not sure. Okay, uh, fuck it. We can come back. We can come back. I'm gonna do the DLC. I'm gonna fucking do the DLC. Um, whoa, look at the buck here. You can kind of see through the planet. Let's find the radio tower. I, the radio tower was one of the very first things I did in this game. Ironically. Uh, but at the time, I believe, I didn't quite get it. Come on, let me go into this mode. It's way easier. Oh, there it is. I see it. Let's go here. Whoa! Oh, fuck. That's, f that's good enough. I keep reversing the thrust up and thrust down on the ship for some reason. Um, unidentified signal nearby. Wait.
Wait, did I not identify this when I was here? Radio tower. What? Oh, it's so weird being back in this game. Uh, there's the stutters. Haven't been missing those. Also, this is like... Wait a minute. This is... I didn't explore this. Light the campfire. Despite my checking on them at least a thousand times over, the images are still not ready to print over in the radio tower. Well, it's like they say. A watched satellite never transmits data. Haha. <laughs> That's a little joke for you, journal. No one says that. Good one. Someday I'll have to study the mechanics of how time manages to slow to a syrupy crawl whenever I'm anticipating something. In the meantime, I've turned to Gabbro, our resident expert in leisurely will whiling away the hours who recommends the following. Gabbro's three foolproof steps for dozing off. Light a nice cozy campfire and get comfortable. Gaze deeply into the serene, serene warmth. Let time begin to slip away as, as you allow the flames to lull you into a peaceful slumber. If Gabbro knew I'd taken notes, they'd probably think I'd finally cracked. But I refuse to accept sass from an astronaut who deliberately burns their marshmallows. <gasps> who would do such a thing? Deliberately burning them. That's just crazy. Haven't had a marshmallow in a, in a minute here. Let me just roast a good one. Still hate them in real life. Well, I had them once when I was a child. Okay. Should I doze off? No. Okay. Let me go in here. So I remember these pictures. I also remember uh, that one. This is the one I remember. I even talked to Gabbro about it at some point. And I kind of forgot what he said. Why, why he was in this picture. But he was in it. Let me just read this again. And we're recording. <clears throat> it's been two days since the launch of the Deep Space Satellite, and I'm about to view the first batch of photos. Let the record show that on this historic day, Outer Wilds Ventures has... Ah, they're printing. They're printing. Here they come. Stars above. Will you look at that? There's Brittle Hollow, and look look there. That's Hollow's Lantern. And there's Giant's Deep, and, and the Quantum Moon. I'm speechless. Completely speechless. Every single astral body in our magnificent solar system, looking stunning from every angle in these... In each of these three images. And in color, no less. Now this is art. I could stare at these photos forever. Doesn't Timber Hearth look tiny from... Hold on, what is that? That can't be right. That's... I mean... That's not even possible. Am I interpreting this photo correctly? What's even stranger is it doesn't show up in either of the other photos. Just this one. Well, there must have been an equipment malfunction, I suppose. Only sensible explanation for it. I'll radio Gabbro and ask them to go examine the satellite's lens for defects. Oh, is that him examining the satellite's lens for defects? For, for a second, I thought this was the equipment malfunction. That Gabbro was in the fucking picture and he's like, what is that? <laughs> oh my god. That's fucking great. So what am I looking at? Satellite angle 248. Am I going to see the shadow in front of the sun? Uh, that's uh, Dark Bramble. Let me remember these names now. Giant's Deep. Brittle Hollow. We've got the twins. That's gotta be Timber Hearth then. The comet and a quantum moon. Oh, <gasps> is that it? No, wait. That. This is it. I get it. Okay. This is exactly what I saw. In space. Actually, I saw it. It was way bigger in space. But maybe I was just closer to it. Satellite angle 40 degrees. Wait a minute. 248 degrees. Three, so that's, that's basically close to zero degrees. So that's... Yeah, that makes sense. That's the plane of the solar system. Almost. It's 10 degrees off. Um... 10 degrees off. And then... What is this then? That's like 60 degrees more. 
So I'm looking down at... I'm looking down at the plane, then. Wait, am I supposed to fucking... Forty forty degrees. Giants deep. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's definitely uh, the shadow. So I think this is the one because this one is uh, that's Timber Hearth. I honestly can't really tell, but it makes sense uh, with the moon. Timber Hearth's moon, and then we have Giants deep. Hourglass Twins, Brittle Hollow, Comet, and Dark Bramble. So, this gotta be Timber Hearth. And that has to be the Quantum Moon then. Um, 350 degrees. So wait, if we assume the angle of the... If the plane of the solar system is the reference here at zero degrees. 40 de degrees above. It's almost 45, which is half of 90, so it's like... Okay, if this was 90, we would be seeing all the planets directly face on. Sorry, we would see the plane face on. So we're seeing it 40 degrees above. So I, need, I just need to be in the orbit of the, of the probe when it is 40 degrees above the, fuck, the plane of the solar system. How the hell am I supposed to know that? Uh, there's no way to measure degrees, right? Am I crazy? I mean, I could. I guess I could just stay with the probe until it reaches 40 degrees and see when this shadow happens. Also, the sun is quite red. How long have we been in this loop? Maybe 10 minutes or something. No, it's got to be more than 10 minutes. I talked quite a lot in the beginning. Hmm... So here's the question, is it 40 degrees up here? Like, I'm pointing up with my finger right now, but imagine... Imagine this is the plane, right? Imagine going up, an arrow pointing up now. Is that counting from zero that way, or is it counting from zero here and down? If you know what I mean. It's... Wait, can I zoom in on that? It's down here now. Oh, maybe I can measure the degrees here. Let me just go to it. Why am I thinking about this? Just fucking go there. Go, 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 go. Uh, fuck, I forget how to... This way. Autopilot. This autopilot should work. There's nothing between us. This is the one time it won't fail me. Mm. Mm. DJ, drop the beat. Mm. Mm. Now every know my in the 313, put your motherfucking hands up for the DLC. This is our universal mystery to unfold, where time and space are ours to behold. From the eye of the universe to quantum moon, we explore and discover we'll be there soon. We're travelers of time and space. We seek the truth and embrace the chase. That's it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, here we go. Wait, have I been here? No, 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 no. I was following the... Uh, the Nomai probe that was shot. Just reminded me of it. Let me go out here. The unidentified signal. Identified. Uh, oh, here we go. Gabro here, checking in on the deep space satellite per ground control's request to check out a possible equipment problem. See, Hornfels, I do too work. You know, I wouldn't mind being a satellite. It's peaceful out here among the distant stars in the soft, velvety darkness. Bet it's <sighs> awfully nice for naps too. And cold. Oh, right, the lens. All right, little satellite, let's see what the trouble is. Come on, that's not an equipment malfunction. What you saw in that picture was clearly something in front of the sun. Like, there's no way that was something on the lens, right? 
Huh, everything looks A-OK, -okay, ground control. No dust or scratches on the lens, and no evidence of sparking or violating explosions. Guess that rules out an equipment malfunction after all. Hear that, pal? You're in great shape. Keep up the good work out here. Ah, uh, okay. Oops. Oh, I can move it, look! Oh shit, here we go. That's it. There's no way I have to wait that long. Where's the sun? Uh, fuck, where am I? Oh, no, 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 come here. Please, stay in place. Where was it? Here. Match velocity. Turn. Ugh. Down. Match velocity. There we go. Why, uh... Why am I being... Is that the gravity of the sun, really? Did they really simulate that? No, now I'm not moving. Weird. Um, there's no way I'm supposed to wait that long. So wait, if it's 270 degrees now... Uh, where is it now? That totally means it starts from here. This is 180 degrees. 270 is exactly here. Yeah. 270 something. So it needs to be 40 degrees up. So it's almost 45. So it's like, I can't draw it with my cursor. But it's like, don't look at the plane now, but it's like this way. There. I need to be there in the orbit. But the sun's gonna explode before it. Oh, maybe I have to do in the beginning of the loop. Fuck me. Yeah. I have to do this at the beginning. Let's uh, let's meditate until next loop. Yeah, I, I okay. I totally get it now. I just need to go there quick. The the probe probably starts at zero degrees even. You know, it would make sense. At the start of every loop, it just starts at zero degrees. Also, so that the player shouldn't have to wait a whole loop, you know, un until they could uh, be in the right position. That makes sense, actually. I'm actually kind of scared to uh, to go to the DLC because the music was fucking creepy when I was there last time. Oh, man. When I saw that thing in space and I heard that music, I even looked at the recording again just to get a sense of what the fuck I was looking at. And I was just... Uh, Where's the probe? Yeah, look, exactly at zero. Ah, well, almost zero. It's like... It starts at 350 degrees, I guess. Or something like that. What was I just saying? I forgot. <laughs> uh, here we go. Let's get there. Yeah, I'm kind of scared of uh, going there. Ah, especially because it's uh, supposedly a scary DLC, which I don't know, man. Those anglerfish already uh, rustled my jimmies plenty enough. So if it's anything like that the whole time, I don't know, man, how much I'm gonna like it. Like I said, I mean, scary games are fun, but... Ah, it's just so difficult for me to play them. I really wanted to explore more of Dark Bramble, but I just honestly also just wanted to get the fuck out of there. Like, the episodes where when I went there, and I knew what to expect in there, I really didn't want to go there. I was kind of biting the sour apple, as they say in... Uh, in Danish. Okay. Let me see the degrees now. Amazing. Okay. Shouldn't take that long, I guess. Shouldn't take too long. So I've been reading your comments and... Uh, <laughs> you're all recommending me all these uh, games I should play. And... Um, 
like puzzle games, including uh, some detective games, I think. I, I don't remember the name, but it's like everyone is expecting me to just jump into these and solve them like some kind of fucking master. I'm not a, I'm not a puzzle man or like a puzzle master at all. Really, I usually suck at puzzle games, man. So, <laughs> also, I don't have that much time in real life to uh, to uh, record these videos and uh, cut them off at the right time, upload them, give them a description. It's a lot of work that I honestly don't really have. This this series has been sort of an a, an anomaly. I wrote that in a comment as well on YouTube, but I don't usually do this. Um, I usually just do whatever comes to mind, something that I want. One day it's a let's play, some other day it's, I don't know. Um, so I hope you're not all expecting me to uh, to keep making let's plays after this, okay? I'm really glad you're all here to enjoy this, but um, I'm really just, uh, yeah. There it is, I fucking see it. Oh, I need to be in my ship, of course. Oh, oh fuck, I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss it! Ah! Oh, what am I doing? Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! Just hit it, just hit it. Uh. Fuck, go! Go! Can I log on? No. Okay, I have it, I have it. Just fly towards it. Fuck, I'm scared. So here's the thing I'm worried about. I get the feeling that if I start this DLC, I won't be able to come out of it until I'm done. Maybe that's why some people suggested to do it after the the main game. But don't worry, I'm not gonna forget what happened in the main game. It's <laughs> that thing is gonna th these things I've discovered is gonna sit with me for a long time. But I, I really hope I can actually go back. Music stopped. Look at the stars. You can see the stars through the sun. Whoa! Are we here? Okay, don't move away from it. God, look at the... I mean, listen to the music. What was that? I'm getting... Uh... Yeah. I'm getting... Uh... <laughs> Independence Day vibes from this. Ah, oh, the music! I hate it! Ah, oh, it's creepy as hell! Can I... Okay. Alright, music is over. Dude, I am so ready to be scared. It's already scary, man. Unknown language. Really? Wait, what am I missing? I kind of just want to explore this place. There's little stars. This is for sure not Nomai. I mean, for, for obviously, for one, the language is not Nomai. So what? I, what is this? Who are these? What is that? Looks like some kind of language. Or, or, no, maybe it's just where the pod opens. I see the hinges. You know?
Oh, what's that? Oh, nothing. Okay. 1.3x gravity. That's interesting. That is like a little more heavy than Timber Hearth, I guess. Wait. Ah! Oh. Oh. Trees detected. Oh god, it's already scary as fuck, man. I don't like this. I'm actually really sad I got spoiled that this DLC was gonna be scary. Maybe it will rob me of some it's getting scared moments. Whoa. Holy fuck! Look at this! Oh my god, it's like... Uh, it's like... Reminds me of Rendezvous to Rama. No, Rendezvous, ran, rendezvous with Rama? It's a... It's fucking rotating. It's a world. I don't understand. Oh, it's my light! Oh! Shit. Okay. Oops. Uh-oh. Oh, I can just not do it at all. I don't have to look away. The hell? Is that the sun I'm seeing? Ooh. Unknown language. Dude, I wonder if we can modify our translator to uh, understand this. Probably we will be able to. Oh my god. Look at the perspective. What am I even looking at? What is this? Oh, that doesn't look good. Oh my god, look, it's... Giants Deep. With the thunderstorms. Actually kind of cool. Ship... Wait, what did I do? Ship log updated? Did I look at something inside of here? God, this perspective is really messing with me. Holy fuck. Stars are going... So time is running, it seems. So wait, do I have 22 minutes? Or not? Huge! And I'm guessing I can just go back to my boat? Whenever I want? Ha! <laughs> it's like some... 4D chess going on here. Is that the king? Weird. Oh my god, this place is amazing. This is not scary at all. I mean, not so far at least. Oh fuck, I don't know, I'm so excited. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. Honestly, I'm, I also just wanna... I just wanna experiment with a bunch of... Is, are there any frequencies in here, first of all?
Oh! Ghost matter over there. Ghost matter in here? Where is here even? Sorry, I'm playing this super slow, but I... Uh... Yeah, I don't know why I'm apologizing. Honestly, this is the thing. I've, I've started to think about the viewers a lot because it, this series has gained so much popularity. But honestly, I'm just going to play it at my pace. I, and honest, I, I don't want to sound rude or anything, but I'm going to try not to give a fuck. So what do these symbols mean? Two eyes. Big ass cheeks. <laughs> I don't know. Um, let's go in. Oh. I fucking knew it. Oh shit. Oh shit. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, oh fuck me. Oh shit. Where am I? Oh. Oh fuck. Get to land. Man, we survived that shit. We don't have a lot of HP though. That's the sun. Wait, is the sun moving? Oh yeah, the stars are moving. Okay, the dam broke. Is that the way from the dam? Oops. Holy shit, we got transported far. We were all the way... Where were we? Over there some somewhere. What is that? Is that a boat? God, did that... Look at this fucking place! Where am I? Oh shit, there's a strong current here. Ah! Ah, fuck! No! Up, 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 up! Get to the surface! Oh shit, get on top of that, get on top of that! Go, 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 go! Oh, oh no, don't fall, don't fall. Ah. I thought for a second the wave kept coming, like it would go around in a circle forever. But of course it doesn't make any sense. Physically. I mean, at some point the energy would dissipate, I guess. Something over there. Let me go there. So are these the the aliens here? Is this a puzzle? He's sitting by the f He's sitting by the candles? He's fishing. Just standing there. Still just standing there. He's on the boat. Is that the same boat I have? Oh, Saturn. No, wait, that's not Saturn. Of course it's not Saturn. Uh, it's just a ring planet. Oh, it even has like a little storm going on there. Does that mean they didn't come from this solar system then? Because there's no Saturn here. Unless... Oh my god. What if Dark Bramble... The planet... Uh, what if Dark Bramble took over the pl this planet before it uh, came here? I, 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 I don't seem to recall any description of the planet that used to be in the place where Dark Bramble now is. Except that there's ice, which could m maybe come from here, I'm not sure. Oh, that looks kind of like a painting, actually, the door. You know, painting, painting, painting. I 
don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> what the hell, man? So should I explore, like... I'm just gonna explore everything. So I have no idea what I'm dealing with yet. So I kind of just want to get the lay of the land, so to speak. Oh, shit. Get on some lights here. We've got another... I don't know what their names are. Is he playing like a... What do you call that? A bass? Huh. They seem like nice dudes. You know? Just hanging out, fishing. Playing the bass. Chilling by the water. So there's something about this these boards. I've seen another one of these boards before. What is this thing? Right, I should be using my light some more. Just see if I can activate things. I also just kind of want to take pictures of things. <gasps> the eye of the universe! That is for sure the eye of the universe. Shiplock updated. Refuel jetpack. Wow, they just have fuel for me here? Look at their little symbol. It's like a little fire symbol. Propane symbol? <laughs> uh, okay, good to know I can do that. Can I, can I heal up is the question. Well, I guess I could go back to my ship. Um, so that is not the sun. What the hell is this? Oh, that's blinding. Oh, God. That hurt my eyes. Uh, I'm just trying to see if some of these things are quantum. I... I don't really know what to do here. I'm just going to keep exploring. There's a house over there. Oh god, the current is strong. Oh shit, this thing is falling now. I wonder if that's predetermined or that just happened randomly. Go, 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 get up there. Ah! Nice. The star is exploding, I hear it. Oh, this music. For five days I haven't heard this. God, it brings me back. I mean, I say it brings me back, it's been five days. <gasps> Gives me so many good memories already. Can I see the sun? Or is it this side? Wait a minute. Where is it? Let me go on top of this. There's a boat. Ah, oh, there's a fucking uh, thing in the way. Ah! What just happened? Oh, I fell through a hole. It's like a little cave here. Uh, can I see the sun, please? Can I hear it? Unless I can't die in here.
Wait, we can't die in here. The Astrin project doesn't do anything. That's crazy. Why not, though? I don't even see the supernova. Like, it should be blue every... Ooh. Oh, fuck! I didn't die, though. Wait, did I get sent back because of equipment failure? Is this just like a bunker in space? When we were, when we were inside Ash Twin Project, I didn't die either. I heard the supernova and everything. But uh, we still got sent back, presumably because of equipment failure, right? The project was supposed to activate in two cases. Either when there's an equipment failure, or it succeeded. Honestly, I kind of forget what the success uh, condition was. The Eye of the Universe was found? Yeah, right, that's it. Uh, a lot of the details are just slipping my mind right now, because it's been a while. Wow, okay, so we're actually back in camp. So I, I still have 22 minutes. That's interesting. So we're not locked inside of there. Oh yeah, fuck, I have ship locks to read. Oh my god, okay. That happens in the next episode. Thank you for watching, see you in the next. Goodbye.